Hello, everyone. Uh, it's going to take a little while for people to, uh, to get their sound. How are you, Roy? Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> See, we have about 16, and I think we had about 21 people who registered. I'm going to give people a minute because it's still not four, and then we'll be able to start. Okay. Few more people joining in. Hi, Ravi. How are you? Good. 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 Good to see you. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's four. We might have some people joining in a couple of minutes, but we have uh, we have about twenty people on the line. That's great. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys have your camera on. It's not mandatory, but keep it on. So I know that people are listening. You guys are here. Uh, you're investing your time. Uh, some of you are part of the uh, coaching, the mentoring program. So you're also uh, investing your money as well. So make sure that you utilize it as much as possible. Uh, so just a really quick intro of what this program that I'm doing. Um, I've but my name is Roy. I'm been in the travel business for the last 22 years. I've been managing a lot of Facebook groups and mentoring and coaching agents, hoping to make them, well, we'll say million dollar producers, but it really up to what they are looking to do. Uh, so if, if, you're, if you're not aspiring to be a million dollar producer, that's fine. But the goal is to, to work together with the agents and to make sure that they achieve what they're looking to do. And for most of them is to be a full-time agent, um, traveling with their people, you know, being able to work from anywhere in the world. So that's, that's the goal. And uh, something really, really basic before we start, um, you know, COVID has hit all of us, you know, in the industry. And even if uh, for me, I've been in the industry for 22 years, We've had a really good book of business before COVID, but when COVID happened, we pretty much canceled everything. We started from zero, same as each and every one of you. And I was going over my numbers with uh, Royal Caribbean, for example. Uh, with Royal Caribbean in 2019, we were selling about $200,000 in, 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 uh, in cruises which was decent. It was a really nice up from, uh, from 2018. We were up and up. 2020, of course, pretty much nothing. 2021, even worse. I think we saw $3,000 in 2021. There was nothing. There was literally nothing, maybe just a commission that came in. 2022 has happened. Um, and again, same as all, everyone, we started from zero. Can anyone guess? where we stand compared to 2019? Where do you stand from based on 2019 in your sales? Up, way up. We are about 400% higher than 2019. We, will, we're, we are getting closer to a million dollars in sales with Royal Caribbean alone. People, a lot of agencies closed down, a lot of agencies in our area, I guess, closed down. People are looking for the agents that kept on selling, kept on promoting, kept on pushing their product. And I guess they are reaching us. They're reaching me, they're reaching my agents. And we have, I, I don't even know, we're just in April and we will probably close about 1.2, 1.3 million dollars in Royal Caribbean alone, which is more than what we've ever sold in cruises before. So I really, really hope, and I, I thank you all for investing that hour, 45 minutes that we have, investing in your business because you are here mm -hmm. and that's the difference between you and pretty much everyone else. Um, and I'm here to help you. We're not just going to talk about cruises today, but it's more general for suppliers. If you have a question, feel free to raise your hand, post, uh, post in the chat. Let me just open the chat. Um, 
<laughs> and uh, I will try and answer everything. I will try and finish it about 4.45 and then time for questions. I will stay here as the last person leaves. So whatever you need after the 45 minutes, I'm, I'm here to help you. If you have any questions in particular for specific for our subject, I would love to, uh, to answer. I am going to bring some more people in as, uh, as the session, because I see a lot of people, some people are still in the uh, waiting room. Uh, quick, quick shout out, all the people that are here that have uh, a domain and your email is uh, at, uh, what is it? Phenomenal Moment Travel or uh, Journeys Concierge, and you're not using a Gmail, uh, what else, AOL and Yahoo and MSN, my number one comment for you, spend $5 a month or sometimes less, get uh, an email. It will make you look so much more professional when you're talking to people. Just uh, a really, really quick tip. Uh, so shout out if you already have it, great if you're not think about it and and try and uh, consider doing that so again today's session we are going to talk about suppliers um, I have a lot of agents that are coming to me and um, they're not really sure what um, what supplier to use for what type of trip and we are going to talk today about two <laughs> operators mostly for all-inclusives uh, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, perks and benefits, meaning if you book with a tour operator versus you booking direct or booking with your consortia. Um, and a little bit of touch about American Express program if you have clients that are part of the uh, fine hotel and resorts. Um, again, if you have any questions, please post them below and we will try, I will try and, and get uh, answers for you. Um, so the why it's it's going to be the pretty much the easiest thing if you write it down or you you uh, you remember it it's going to be the easiest thing to remember if you have a client traveling to a specific location and they are going to use a specific airline that would probably be your number one company to check so if they are flying from let's say Newark, and they're using United. <clears throat> they're flying from Chicago, they're using uh, American, Miami American, Atlanta Delta. That is probably going to be your number one um, supplier to go to. The United Vacation, Delta Vacation, American Airlines Vacation, Southwest Vacations, all of them are most likely going to be the cheapest, best option for you, for your client in terms of pricing. Now, you always want to uh, also associate yourself with whatever your agency has uh, preferred. So the top commission, top tier, but I'm assuming that everyone here is part of uh, a big agency. Most of you are from Travel Planners International. So you get top tier with pretty much all of the suppliers. Um, so ALG that covers uh, United Vacations, Southwest, uh, American Airlines are on their own. Delta Vacation is part of the uh, World Direct, so better have access to them. So you'll be able to see if anyone wants to have any questions regarding a specific thing from a supplier, um, let me know. And we can, uh, we can go over that as well. There are the, the different ones. So Funjet, Travel Impressions, Apple Vacations, um, most of them are pretty much the same, I would say. I find that Funjet is slightly cheaper on most product. TI has a slightly better commission. And Apple, there are certain products. There are certain things like uh, Melia, like the Paradisis. There are some products where they are a preferred and you will get certain perks if you use Apple Vacations. Uh, but that seems to kind of go away. I haven't seen that too often. Um, something for you, you, you really, the, the goal for you is to try and know exactly who to go to, where to look and what to book. Um, when a client is approaching you, you don't want to go and do 10 searches 
uh, with 10 different suppliers. It's just, it just makes no sense uh, to do it. So have your preferred and know where to go when you get a certain type of request. Um, and we will also touch on uh, hotel only. I, I know this is also an, an issue if someone has maybe an old credit uh, or they're using miles. So we'll touch on that as well. Um, more things that are under the, the VAX umbrella, the ALG umbrella, uh, besides the Fun JTI, Apple, you have uh, Blue Sky Tours, I would say for Hawaii, Blue Sky Tours and Pleasant Holidays are pretty much are, are really the, the go-to for a lot of agents in terms of pricing, in terms of contracts that they might have. Um, uh, so that's two, although I just booked um, a trip to Hawaii from people from Newark and United Vacation was better because the flight was with United. Uh, and I, yeah, I double checked and I compared it with another uh, like Pleasant, like uh, Sky, like uh, Blue Sky. And again, United Vacation was cheaper uh, to, uh, uh, for my client and better option. Um, Pleasant Holidays, the unique thing about them that we found from time to time is that they will price match uh, even with Costco. They'll price match with a lot of companies that normally don't price match. Um, JetBlue Vacations, they might uh, price match. And I will touch a little bit about the concept of price match. Um, just so you'll know, if you have a preferred supplier and you work with that supplier a lot and you want to give them more business, we'll call it, but another supplier sells it for a cheaper option, you do have the option to price match. Uh, they don't necessarily price match everything. Sometimes your commission gets uh, deducted uh, when you price match. Personally, um, I don't believe in the price match option. So I say if the supplier to begin with did not give me the best pricing, I will go and book with someone else. Uh, I have the advantage of working with a big company, with a big uh, host that is pretty much preferred with everyone. So the commission is not being affected. It's not that I need to reach a certain target with a specific supplier in order to qualify next year for a higher tier commission. If, that, if, that's, if that's you and you're independent and you need to reach that target, then it's a whole different thing. But if you're with a host and you regardless, you're going to get the top tier, uh, I just find it a lot easier that I don't have to run and try and price match and then they might reject my price match or they'll deduct the commission. Uh, the goal is not to work harder, is to work smarter, to check with one, two, and that's it. I, I don't need to take care of the supplier to give them more business if they didn't, haven't been proactive in, to begin with and gave me the best price. Um, hope I'm making sense. Um, so there is a question and I will try to answer as we go along. So Jen is asking when you book with United Vacation, is there a way to let them know about the air that is already booked to get the best pricing or do you have to book air and hotel and car at the same time to get the best deal? Okay. Um, in general, package prices are better than if you would book hotel and uh, flight separately. So if you book it as a package, as, as, as a guideline, it's going to be cheaper. You want to book it as a package. Now, a lot of companies have realized that and they are allowing agents to book package rates when booking hotel only. Because if you are booking, let's say, Cancun, Mexico, they know that a person has to get there by flight. So for sure, it's going to be a package, but they are not going to sell the air with the package because they have miles, because they have old credits. So with Funjet, for example, Funjet, almost all of the ALG, you will see something that is called Hotel Plus. I don't know if you've seen it, if you want, I can share my screen and I can show you, but there is something that's called Hotel Plus. And Hotel Plus is pretty much booking hotel only, knowing um, that it's, it's, a, it's a package price for hotel only. And they allow it, uh, Expedia, if you're using Expedia Tap, 
They do have that option where you just check the box. Uh, beds online, which is a hotel only, uh, has that option. Um, uh, TBO, I don't know if you're using them. Is There's a lot of companies right now that they're aware that people sometimes don't need uh, the air, but it's still considered a package. Um, so uh, they still have it. Ravi, you said yes. Yes means you want me to share the screen or you're just agreeing with what I'm saying? Um, you, no, I was you, just uh, responding to Michelle's question. Oh, okay. Um, to share. Okay, let me, let me do a quick... Let me do a quick share. Just so, so if, if you've never seen it before, let me just log in here and I'll show you where it is. I'll do it really quick. If you've never seen it. So if you go to Funjet here, for example, we know the option for a flight and hotel. There is hotel only and there's hotel only package plus. Goes to Mexico and the Caribbean for the most part you will still need to say where you're leaving from. But if you're going to uh, Mexico, let's say it's two adults, doesn't really matter. And we're going to do the search. I am actually not booking flights at all. These are hotel only package prices. Uh, they take into consideration that we are going to book uh, flights somewhere else. They, they, they will need to get there somewhere. Um, just waiting for it to come up. Okay, so as you see, we, we there are no flights, no flights at all. It's just a hotel, and and these are package prices um, for a hotel only. So you do have that option. And is that at the same commission rate? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if we go to, let me just click on the dreams just to see, but yes, it shouldn't. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a 1200 for about $200 commission. Yeah, it's, it seems about it. It's about 15%, uh, 15, 16. Um, so yeah, it's, it's about the same. So you do have that option again, if they're using miles, if they have all credits, if they I don't know. We on, if I get a client who say I want to use my credit card points, I say perfect. I love using credit card points. Use them for the flights. I'll book the hotel. So you take care of the flight, and then I can still get you a package price. Um, again, using this um, uh, TOB. It's not TOB. It's TBO. TBO. Uh, TBO holidays. Um, let me share again. That's the company. It's very, very similar to uh, Beds Online. They do, I don't know if you know Beds Online. Uh, I can send uh, like a list of all the suppliers in the website. Uh, check with your uh, uh, host. If uh, Again, if you're with travel planners, I think they are preferred. Um, so you can do that. And when you're looking for a hotel, they will say uh, whether it's a package rate or not, but you can you can take it. You just need to kind of tag and say yes it's uh, the person is going to get there by flight and that's that's about it uh what makes a supplier preferred now if you are on your own let's say you're not with a host a preferred is a company that you want to establish and get more business with so you can get to the higher tier normally when you start with uh, an um uh, when you start with a supplier, you'll start at 10%. If you're part of a consortia, you're part of some sort of an agreement, you'll be on a higher, on a higher tier. Um, so the agency, the host, the consortia recommends you to use that specific supplier because they're top tier. Maybe they offer you more support in terms of a BDM, a SAM, or whatever that you want to call it, a business development manager in your area, someone who offers support. So that would qualify as preferred by your host, but you decide who your preferred suppliers are. There are always suppliers that give you, you feel that give you better service. Uh, note that if you have a good production with uh, ALG Group, with uh, Vacation Express, with even specific cruise lines, you can qualify for a top tier, maybe an individual phone that you can call directly to them. 
um, you know, maybe faster service, maybe an email, if it's Sandals, like a goal team. So it really um, depends on what you're looking for. Um, uh, do preferred suppliers with consortia pay the consortia to be preferred? Uh, normally, yes, but not in a sense of a bribery, more of like marketing funds. So they will give money to the consortia for them to uh, publish them more, maybe give them some more time, do some more training for the agents, uh, maybe do some more, um, maybe at conferences. So there'll be more in front of your face, we'll call it, give you more space, more time. Um, depends on your consortia or your host. We, I want to assume that no one is going to associate themselves with a bad supplier that doesn't give any service, that doesn't, you know, that's, that's going to go really, really fast. So if, if, if it, he's preferred and he's not replying to emails, they're not responding, clients are not happy, they're not going to stay preferred for long. So if you have a specific supplier that has been preferred for a year or two or more, they're also probably doing a good job. But you get to decide who is preferred based on you. You know, if, if your host has 10 suppliers that are preferred, pick the one, two that you want to work with that will help you grow your business. Uh, and there are several of them that, that will help you for sure. Um, one more thing on the VAX uh, platform uh, that I showed a little bit before, uh, Universal Vacations. You know, if you have someone's going to Universal, go to Universal Vacations. If you have a person wanting to go to Disney, go to Disney Travel Agents. Um, I would say the same for Sandals, although, again, some people I know book Sandals. Uh, uh, again, it goes to where you want to push. If you want to be preferred with Funjet and you need the volume of sales. Some people will use Funjet to book Disney. Some people will book uh, Funjet to book uh, like Sandals. Um, but if you have the luxury of being with a host or a consortia where you are getting the most commission regardless, I would highly recommend that you kind of go to the source. So go to Sandals um, direct, so unique vacations, go to Disney travel agents, go to Universal, they're on VAX, um, and, and, and so on. Uh, there are more suppliers that are pretty similar, again, like Pleasant Holidays, GoGo. Uh, GoGo is a little unique with the fact that they have GoGo worldwide, so they'll do more destinations that are different than the all-inclusives, so if you need something a little uh, Asia, if you need Europe, if you need South America, they'll be able to help you in GoGo -Go worldwide. It's a little different, but it's it's like a division of GoGo. -Go. But GoGo -Go Vacations, the regular one, they just do the regular all inclusive Mexico, Caribbean, and, and the US. Yeah. Um, something that is a little different, Vacation Express. Uh, I would say they are a little different. Vacation Express is the sister company for the Royalton brand. So Royalton Shake, uh, Planet Hollywood. Um, again, always try and get to the source. So if you're booking AM property, AM resorts, go to ALG. If you're booking Royaltons, try and move to uh, Vacation Express. They will, for the most part, have the best pricing, um, sometimes better availability, sometimes better service on a specific thing. Um, so again, when I get a call and someone wants something in particular, and I see that it's United going to Royalton, I will probably price Vacation Express, I'll price United Vacations, see the difference and whatever works best. Now, there are two ways to look at what's the best, uh, tr what a best uh, pricing would be. One is price, second is commission. So always check commission levels. Pricing can be identical. I like to use the net. I compare net to net, not gross to gross, because sometimes um, United, they, they haven't done it in a long time, but sometimes United have these ultra codes, promo codes, and they'll cut your commission to like 10%. So you just have to look net to net. That, that's my tip because sometimes it's um, what looks cheaper 
is not really cheaper. It's just, they just took all of your commission, but technically mm -hmm. the other one has a better price. So when you're comparing, make sure, I always make sure that it's the best pricing for my clients. And then later on, if the pricing is the same, I make sure what's the best commission for me, right? We're doing this ultimately to get paid as well, to get commission. So also make sure that the commission is, uh, makes sense to you as well. Um, now the last, well, also what Vacation Express has and some of the other companies, they do have sometimes dedicated air. So charter flights. If you're in a specific market that Vacation Express has charters, uh, VAX also have so, has some unique charters on uh, Southwest vacations, some on with uh, some frontier flights. Um, these flights, these dedicated flights are something that most people can't shop. So they won't appear on Expedia. They won't appear anywhere else. So you're not competing with anyone on it. So if you're in a market that Vacation Express, for example, um, offers the charters, and I can open it up if, if you want to see, you know, what their, um, you know, what, what, what the market, what the city pairs are, and I can show you, you don't have to be in that specific market. You can market to that market, but I'm in New York. I have clients in California. I have clients in Washington states. I got people in Japan that I sell travel to. It doesn't really matter. So you need, when you're marketing to a specific uh, territory area, just uh, make sure that you're aware of what the market is. If you are selling for someone from Cleveland, but you're in Chicago, just know what the product is from Cleveland because other agents will um, offer, you know, the, what, you know, the, um, that product. Um, there are two suppliers that I will normally, oh, and, um, well, well, we'll touch on that later, but there are two suppliers that are a little different, like classic vacations. And I don't know if you've heard about them, but ultimate jet vacations, these two, uh, classic vacation used to be owned by Expedia. They're not owned by Expedia anymore. And unfortunately, once Expedia kind of dropped them, they, they lost a little bit of their edge. They were, to, in my opinion, they were better before. Uh, but the main advantage of both of them is you can book them and get uh, consortia uh, perks. So what are the consortia perks? Consortia perks are normally with higher end, high tier properties. So, um, the, the Ritzes, if you're looking at the all-inclusive, so the Grand Villas, um, and um, uh, Nisuk Hotel, the, uh, the, um, the Fairmont, there's some higher end properties that they get certain perks. Perks can be um, upgrades, uh, upgrades on arrival, uh, breakfast included for two. If if it's a not if it's not at all inclusive, uh, late late uh, checkout, early check in. There's certain perks that will mimic the American Express program, which I am going to talk about. But the advantage is that most of these consortia perks, and I can show you if you want. Um, we're part of Signature with Travel Planners, so I can show you what I mean. There's a list of all the hotels and all the perks and what they have to offer. So I can go there and show you if you want. Um, but they are normally only if you book it directly with the property. Um, so uh, these like classic vacations and ultimate jet vacations, they actually allow you to use the consortia, get the higher higher commission because consortia, because uh, uh, the tour operator is going to give you about 15%. And if you book direct, it's going to be about 10%. So you can double dip. Um, so I think the yes is for consortia just to see it. So let me just do a really quick share on my screen. So if you are part of uh, Signature, if you're part of Ensemble, if you're part of, um, uh, what's the last one that I'm uh, missing? Uh, Virtuoso. 
And I'm sure some others are going to do, maybe travel leaders have the same program that I don't know, but Ensemble Signature, um, they do have that program. So I'm going here to hotels, for example, they have the uh, hotel program. You can search, let's say you're doing, um, let's, let's do Mexico, because we are talking about a lot of the all inclusives um, here. So the Andas, the, the Bunyan tree, as you can see, these are higher end properties, the Fairmont in Mayakoba, uh, Eshkaret Hotel, all of these. And as you can see here, it says a wholesale uh, combinable. Most of them are going to say no, but still, if you are using classic, if you are using ultimate jet, for the most part, they will be able to give you uh, the perks. And the perks are, let's take the, let's take the, I don't know, let's take the Grand Hyatt. It's probably not going to because it's not like a high, high end, but the, the exclusive amenities are full breakfast for two for each guest, each guest. So not even two, $50 spa credit, uh, welcome amenities. They can also get an upgrade, possibly it's subject to availability, early check-in, late check-out. If you're booking a suite, it's an extra $100 of food and beverage credit. So that's the, um, that's the signature. And again, Virtue also has the same. Ensemble has the same. Sometimes the um, properties are going to change a little bit, but the perks are about the same. Um, anyone has any questions about this? I know this is not, this is more of a higher end product. These are not the common um, resorts that you will use, but I'm sure you can find some. I mean, Paradisus is something that, you know, people use. Um, so there are some, but most of them are, I mean, there's, they have tons in Europe, there are tons of, in, uh, in, in Asia. Um, here again, it's the Paradisus in Playa del Carmen, you get $50 massage, there's an amenity, possible upgrade. So there are some options. Uh, so again, if anyone has any questions about this, so what I was saying again, going back, Classic Vacations, Ultimate Jet will in most cases give you that perk even if you are booking directly with them. Roy, I have a question actually, this is Barb, about what you were talking about with the, um, on ALG with the hotel, when you're not doing the air. Mm -hmm. um, so if you, cause I did, while you were talking, I was checking it out and yeah, the rate is much better, but because I, I've, I'm booking some folks that are more than a year out, so air is not available. Um, and I may or may not book the air for them added on. With that, if you wanted to add air later, you cannot do that? Uh, I don't think you'll have a problem adding air to it. More, okay. Worst case, they will open another tab. So it's gonna look a little different. I don't know if you've done it before. Right, I've done that, yeah, I just, yeah. yeah. So worst case, they're gonna open another tab and put it in, but you already got the package price. So you're already set. Okay, great, thank you. Um, let me see, questions. Oh. I have another question. Where did I where did I click? Okay, let me go back and I'll show you. Uh, it's it's just so much easier, honestly, if you uh, unmute and there's only twenty of us, so it's good. Don't don't be afraid. Um, unmute, ask the question. It's going to take me longer to uh, look at the chat. So I'm going back to hotels here on signature. I'm clicking home, and then I can get to a list. I can. I can open up the entire list. There's like a huge list of all the hotels if I can find them somewhere here. But if I have a specific area uh, that I want to, um, uh, what was it? It was Mexico. So that's, you know, that's where it was. But if I'm looking for a specific city, okay, you're booking. Again, it's not necessarily just all inclusives, but I can click on London and then all the hotels are gonna pop up. And all I need to do is just click on the specific hotel and then I can see the perks. So um, if again, if you're in, here in Signature and you're part of Signature from here, if you want, you can click on book now. Hopefully you can see it, but then here you could look for the dates and it will give you the Signature rate. 
If you want to book here, just note that if you do book with your consortia, it's a direct booking with the hotel. Client is going to pay local currency at the hotel. So if it's pound, it's euros, uh, they're going to pay local at the hotel. Your commission is going to be 10%, uh, sometimes eight, but mostly 10% uh, from the base before taxes. <coughs> um, do we have to ask Ultimate Jet and Classic to make sure our clients get the extra perks? Um, sometimes they will know that your host or you are part of the consortia. Sometimes they won't. Another tip, sometimes Signature might have a specific hotel and Ensemble won't or you tell them that you're part of a consortia and you will most likely get the perk even if you're not part of that specific consortia. I've, it, it happened quite a few times where um, Signature had it and Ensemble didn't or, or Virtuoso had it and you didn't. It's, yeah, just make sure to ask and they'll, they'll most likely put it in. <clears throat> okay, so we kind of covered the, um, the tour operators and who to work with and when, when you're being asked uh, to know where to go. Again, our goal is to limit the search to two, maybe three at the beginning and not more than that. You don't want to search 10, 20 suppliers. It's, it's, it's going to take you so long to, um, uh, for the process. The, the goal is to just, you know, get it out there. Um, again, with the companies that I've, I've sh I showed uh, for hotel only, you do have the, the fungit option with the hotel only. You have TBO, TBO holidays. You have uh, beds online. Both beds online and um, TBO and most and classic as well. Um, you can hold the reservation without payment at all. Classic normally charges like fifty dollars, and for the most part, it's refundable. But with TBO, with uh, uh, beds online you can hold a booking, hotel only booking and transfers as well, and transfers and tours, but we're talking about hotels mostly now um, without any payment. Uh, so you can hold them up until very close to a final, to uh, where the penalty starts and only then apply. So it's just, it's another way, it depends on your clients. If the clients are not ready to pay yet, they're looking for something that are a little more flexible. We know that tour operators now, they charge their own fees. So if you book with ALG, if you book with someone, they'll have an additional $100 penalty, additional, on, you know, on top, they call it brand fees. So if you want to avoid that, you can work with suppliers like, uh, you know, TBO and Beds Online that don't charge any fees. Expedia, Expedia doesn't charge any fees, but with Expedia, you have to pr prepay everything. Um, no, you don't. I'm sorry? Yes? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Uh, so Expedia is also a supplier that I tend to use a lot when I use domestic, um, Vegas, uh, local hotels, some things, you know, where people are looking for that, uh, you know, pre-cruise, holiday inns, days in, you know, all of these hotels where they're normally not on the regular uh, tour operator websites. Um, Roy, I don't think you have to prepay for um, Expedia. Maybe you do. Maybe it changed. I think they used to have an option pay on property. I haven't seen. Maybe they took it from most of the resorts. I just, for the resort that I've seen, I've, I haven't seen them. Like, okay. So I think they took it away. Um, but yeah, I remember they had it. I think that their problem was you, you could hold it and then maybe prepay it later, but then the card would get declined and the reservation uh, would get canceled. It was a big mess. So I think they kind of took it away. Okay. Thank you for the information. Sorry. Um, clients are having big problem with the big deposits on the ALG. Um, if you are booking with something like American Airlines Vacations, United Vacations, Southwest Vacation, for the most part, their deposits are going to be 250 per person. 
uh, versus if you are booking them on Funjet, you will most likely have to pay the entire air plus another hundred for the hotel as deposit. So another advantage of going with the airlinevacation.com or whatever. Um, another option that I don't like, I really, really, really don't like is the uplift, but, but just note that it's an option. Uplift is technically taking a loan to go on vacation. And then you are paying for that vacation for years and years to come with really, really high interest. So I really don't like it. I, I don't, if honestly, if you can't afford the vacation, don't go. I don't, I don't need that, that your money that much. Just don't, don't pay 16, 20% interest on a vacation. It makes no sense, but just so you'll know, there is that tool that is called Uplift. Uh, you can use it for cruises now. You can pretty much use it for everything. It's pretty much taking a loan, a line of credit, paying, uh, like 20% interest on it. So just so you'll know. Uh, Ravi's asking about villas, condo rentals. Um, I do some on Expedia. Expedia Tap has a lot of, you can find some for like the VRBOs and stuff. There's Haven, uh, HCN, HHVN. Uh, I know there's like villas of distinction. I, I will sell villas when they're like part of a resort, like the Waimera and stuff like that. Standalone villas, condos. I, I don't do a lot of them. It, there's just, it, it goes back to almost the same concept as, as a, um, Airbnb. I don't believe that I control the product. I don't know. Uh, I can't. I, there's no real mama and papa to that booking. Uh, if something happens, I've heard horror stories of really, really good owners of Airbnb calling clients and saying, uh, look, I'm sorry, but the person just before you, they, they made a campfire in the middle of the living room. And now I can't like, I can't sell this place. I can't even rent this place for the next two months. You know, he's going to get insurance, whatever, but you know, burst piping, something happened. There's just going to be so many things that can go wrong with a single unit property. So honestly, I try and avoid them. Again, if it's like a kind of like a timeshare area, so Aruba, Marriott Surf, or the Amsterdam Manor, or something where the Blue Resident, where it's just a management company that sells them. Yes, definitely. Yes. Standalone home, standalone villa that doesn't come under like a management company. I prefer personally just not to sell it. There's so, so much risk, normally not a lot of money in it, so much hassle, but there are some products out there. Again, uh, HVN, Haven, uh, Villas of Distinction, um, Expedia, again, they do have quite a bit. Classic used to have the VRBOs. I don't think they do them anymore. Uh, and for a good reason, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's, I, I don't want to say it's a bad product, but it's, it's, it's not a right fit. If you are trying to believe in the product that you are selling, uh, because you just don't know it. Um, let me know if you guys have any more questions. Um, air, um, if you do decide to sell air only. There are some tools out there, mostly consolidators like Tripro, like Centrav. I know a lot of agents don't like to sell air only, or but these tools are out there. Um, prob probably uh, it wouldn't be my top recommendation for agents unless they're um, really experienced and they know exactly what it is that they're doing. But for the most part, you probably want to work with the tour operator that can help you sell the air and the hotel together. Um, for transfers, tours, um, in general, I want to say that uh, if you go directly to the transfer company, so Nexus, Amstar, and even the smaller companies within uh, the specific destinations that you sell, you will get better pricing than the tour operators. It's another step. It's not all in one with the package, um, but um, they normally provide better pricing, normally much easier 
to support if something happens. If you booked a private transfers on um, Vacation Express, which they work with Nexus versus booking directly with Nexus, you will have so much, it will be so much easier to uh, service the reservation if something happens, if you booked it directly with Nexus. And for the most part, you'll get better commission too. Um, I say for agents, when you are established enough and you sold at least five, 10 Cancuns, 10, 20 Punta Canas, try and find that local company that you might want to work with direct. Uh, I have a few that I work with and I've been really successful with them. Their pricing are so much better than the tour operators directly. Uh, customer service is better, commission is better, everything is better, uh, but just make sure that you work directly with that company. Um, good tour operator for Greece. Um, really depends on what it is that you're looking for. I, I know there are companies like Europe Express, for example, that will take the whole pricing, uh, will do the flights, they'll do the hotels, they'll do the tours. They mark it up pretty high. Um, uh, you know, go, a lot of these companies that pretty much build everything for you, there is a big markup in the rates uh, because you are paying for their assistance for everything. So if you're a beginner agent, it's your first time, maybe you don't know enough about the destination yet, then that's a good option. If not, um, you know, if you do like uh, United Vacations and, and book a uh, flight and hotel or just book flight separate, hotel separate, tours separate, like again, uh, beds online, uh, project expedition, tours by local. There's a lot of suppliers that do tours. Um, again, with 45 minutes, honestly, I can't go through all of the suppliers that are out there. And, and everyone here sells a little bit different. Um, so the main, main focus here was mostly like the all-inclusives, but there are many, many other suppliers out there for, um, you know, escorted tours and, and custom FIT in places. Um, okay, so let's, let's uh, Mark is correct. I've mentioned the fine hotel and resorts for uh, Amex. Um, the fine hotel and resorts, uh, if someone doesn't know, if you are an Amex, if you hold Amex, mostly Platinum and the Centurion, the black card, it is available for some of the gold packages, some of the gold cards. That program is pretty much identical to um, the, the consortia amenities. So there are two options for you to sell the, the, the fine hotel and resorts. Um, one is to compete with it. So don't book it, use the consortia because the perks are going to be similar. But if, if, the, if the Amex program is better, you as an agent, for the most part, most of your agencies and consortias and hosts are part, they have the ability to book um, that fine hotel and resorts. There is a website that's called uh, ASD, Agency Support Desk for Amex. I will share the screen because I have it open. It's, it's pretty easy here. Uh, you are just looking for, um, for, a, for an area to guest. Let's look at uh, June 24th for let's say two nights. I don't know the hotel name, doesn't matter. And it's, it's, it's a search engine for hotels and you will see if the hotel is part of the, what they call the hotel collection or the fine hotel and resorts. And you will get the perks. This is the fine hotel and resorts. This is the hotel collection, so THC. Uh, if I check the rates for the fine hotel here, I will also see what the perks are. I'm supposed to see, uh, hopefully. Um, so daily breakfast for two, 12 p.m. check-in, 4 p.m. checkout, room upgrade if available, complimentary. And another unique amenity is $125 property credit. So these, this is this is not special. This is what American Express offers their clients and telling them you need to book it with American Express. No, you do not need to book. They can book it with you. You, the agent, can book um, these rates, 10% commission, 
but you can book them. Uh, once you click on book now and you can see it's 10% commission, you need to validate the credit card, make sure, get the credit card first, make sure that the Amex qualifies. So you click on it, you verify the card and you see it has to be paid by American Express card and everything. You're gonna pay in local currency in euros, but they are going to get the perks. So if you have a client that is looking for a higher end property and they're looking at Costco, they're looking at Expedia, uh, they're even looking directly with American Express, you can compete, you can match, you can pretty much sell the product. Again, it's more of a higher end product. You could see the rates, um, they're, they're pretty high out there, but it's, it, it has a market. It definitely has a market. Uh, now, American Express Platinum also has another thing, again, that I probably won't be able to touch in this session, but it's the Platinum Cruises. You get extra onboard credit. So if you have clients that are part of the, um, the program, they have a Platinum card, they have the Centurion card, um, you, can, uh, you can sell it. The website for the, the booking, I will post it here, but it's, it's restravel.co. I, I put the link in um, and you can, um, again, if you're with the travel planners or with the, just make sure to, to get access, you'll need a username or something. I think uh, sometimes it's just putting the IATA number in. So just check it out. Um, Marriott and Hyatt. So Roy, with that yeah. platinum rest trav, do you get the same commission rate or is it a flat 10 or something? Ten, normally 10% commission on the base before taxes. Yeah, that's what I Same thought. as the consortia, same as Signature and, and Ensemble and Virtuoso. So 10% commission on the base. If you have the ability to work with a tour operator, get 15% and give the perks of the consortia. That's probably the best way to go. Remember, client first, you, well, not second, but you know, it has to, you have to make right, sure it has to make sense for them. Make... Now, I was talking about the cruise piece of it. Cruise piece is the same, identical. Same it's commission. Right, the 10, right, because cruises don't do 10%. Right. The cruises, cr the, the difference between the, the cruise program is a little different. There is another website that you go in there. You put in the credit card number and you put the booking number, you get a code, you call the cruise line, Royal Caribbean, and you tell them, I have a client paying with American Express. This is the special promo code that I got. They'll put it in the booking. They'll get a $50, $100 onboard credit. They'll get a bottle of wine. They get something. These are the perks um, for uh, American Express platinum card holders and up. Okay. Uh, so you can always ask your clients, are you, or if, I mean, you can ask them, are you, do you have a credit or platinum credit card? Um, or, you know, if they give you a credit card number that is Amex, you can ask them, what kind of card is it? Is it a platinum card? Because there are certain perks right. uh, okay. that you can offer. Normally a person who has the platinum card, they know about the perks. So just make sure that they're aware of it. So they don't, oh, we didn't book it with you. Because if I book it with Amex directly, I get this. You can offer it too. That's, that's the whole point. That's the goal of... Uh, of, of the session of, for you guys to understand. Um, not sure I understand, Mark, about the Marriott Star and Hyatt, same idea. I'm not sure what you mean. Okay. Yeah, there's Hyatt Proven. Um, I think it's Marriott Star program is basically like the additional amenities that are added, like a FHR booking. Um, I just wasn't sure the, uh, the method to book it, but I'll, I'll do some more research. Uh, I remember they used to have a pro. I don't know if they still have it. The, the, they still have the mayor. They used to be like the Starwood program for agents, but I don't think I don't think that they have it anymore. But uh, this one in particular, when we looked at some of the properties here, they had the Renaissance. So there are some Marriott properties that are part of the uh, fine hotel, and there are some properties that are part of the consortia collection as well. And again, these are direct bookings. So. If a client, if you put their uh, their Bonvoy number, if you put their Hyatt uh, Explorer, I forgot the name of the the Hyatt points, you they get the points. So these are direct bookings. 
Okay, they pay on site for the most part. Again, there's an advantage and there's disadvantage to each and every of the of the suppliers of the method that we're booking. The goal for you, for us, is to overcome. Oh, I don't want to book with you because I can't get my Marriott points. I don't want to book with you because I don't get my Amex point. Because you, we we can we can work with everything. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, with the Res Saver, it doesn't. Let me see. Yeah, Roy, I went into that Res Saver site and clicked on register. And when you register as an agent, it asks for an agency code, but it doesn't take the TPI IATA. When I am logged in, let me see, I log out. Uh, I don't know. I have a username and password. So don't, don't register as an agency owner. Try and register as an agent. I know I did. I did. And it asked for an agency code, okay, let me see. which I assumed would be an IATA. And it said, eh, when I went for the re you know, to register, it did not like our IATA. Um, yeah, and Jen, it happened to me same same thing. Um, um, TPI. Yeah, I clicked on verify on the agency code, and it said that could not be found. Please register your agency uh, in order would, to get your code. I would poss possibly maybe reach out to uh, to TPI and see. Uh, I I have a username and password. I'm logged in. So you must have gone through a process, but yeah, they're not. I looked in the suppliers, they're not listed as a supplier. So it looks like we've got to go to the- Just just reach out because I've I've done it. My username is associated with the TPI. So it's, yeah. it's possible. There must be a different process. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, Roy, it's Deneen. I have a question about um, like the Bonvoy points and the Hilton points. When you have, a, um, like I have a group and they're booking a Hilton, but they said they cannot accrue points when you go through a supplier. That's, that is correct. That's why I said when you are booking with a consortia or when you're booking with the Amex or stuff like that, it's considered mm -hmm. a direct booking, like booking directly with the hotel. If you are using a tour operator, the tour operator will not give points. It's either working. If it's a third party booking, they mm -hmm. won't get their points, their miles. If, if they have status, they will get the status. Let's say they're diamond level at Hilton. Once they come in or even before they can reach out, they can connect the reservation to their profile. They'll see it. They won't get any points. They won't get any uh, nights, like a night stayed, but they will get the status. So if, Hil if diamond gets a possible upgrade or gets uh, lounge access or whatever, they will get it. They just don't, they won't qualify for nights, uh, extra nights or get points. Um, is that the same for air? You mentioned air. So if I book a package with, with air and they want to use their frequent flyer number, they don't get the points for the flight either? Actually for air, because air technically is a direct booking. So if you do a package, mm -hmm. the supplier technically <clears throat> pays, they, they do what, we, what I showed you. They book it okay. as a package only, ho package rate hotel and flights separately. So you, they will get the perks, they will get the benefits, they'll get the miles, they'll get everything. But uh, something to note, if they have a credit card, let's say United credit card, American Express, um, uh, um, Delta card, that if they pay the card, with the card, they get uh, luggage for free, they get something, you need to let the tour operator know they, you can't use a $250 deposit per person. You have to pay the air in full. They have to take that credit card, purchase the air in its entirety, and only then it will qualify for the free luggage or something like that that the credit card offers. Um, only for that. But, but anything else, they still get the points, they get the miles. Sometimes mm -hmm. when you book a package, it will be a bulk rate. So the accrual will be a little different. They might get less points. They might get less miles, less status. Um, but in general, they'll get points. They'll get status. They'll get the whatever is needed uh, to get to the next level. Thank you. Okay. So Jan here, she posted the number that you need to put is 3105525 if you are with uh, travel planners. So I guess it's 
Yeah. So I guess I've, I've done it before and that's the number that I put in. I've been using this for years. So I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's possible. Um, so I'm glad we found that out. Any, any more questions, any more? I have a question. Sure. Yes. So my question is, um, if I'm doing an FIT, but I use different companies to put um, um, an itinerary together for my client, what who what do you guys use to do the proposals or to you know which company? Okay, proposals and itinerary are different. Okay, but let's let's talk about itinerary. Are you part of? Are you with uh, Travel Partners or not? Yes, okay. yes, I am. So you're part of Signature. Signature offers access A X U S A X U S. It's a, it's a free tool. It's a free itinerary builder. It's, it's um, like, uh, I, I don't have time to show it, but it's, you, you can look it up. Okay. Uh, they have trainings. You, it's, it's an app on the phone. The client can put it on their own phone and they'll see all the itinerary after you booked it and you put everything in. Well, okay. I'm saying after you booked it because you can use it for proposals as well. The process just takes a long time. I probably wouldn't recommend um, doing that because it's just going to take so long for you to create the proposal. Okay. If it's a high, high end, he's going to spend tens of thousands of dollars and you have the time, go for it. Um, some suppliers like vacation, like uh, Europe Express and, and the go away and they'll... Um, uh, Kensington Bay tour. There's some companies that will send you a really nice itinerary with a proposal, but it's mostly for higher end, more expensive uh, packages. I just copy paste, write something, write like like a blurb. Uh, but again, depending on your destination, there are some that do it. You know, for Costa Rica, there's some companies that do it. Uh, there's there's tons of companies that will send you a proposal. Okay. If you want something for yourself, and again, you're part of Signature. Access is free unless you want to customize it and put your uh, put your logo in. Uh, then it's fifty dollars a year. But if you don't care that it says the travel planners and not your company, at least for the beginning, it's free. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, yeah, I know some people are leaving because it's already been an hour. As I said, I'm I'm here. If you have any more questions, if you're done, you're done. Honest, great. I will send an email to everyone that attended. Um, just again explaining, this is the the program part of the coaching mentoring program that I do. It's a lot of it's some that are one one on one, and some are group sessions. This group session was actually um, suggested by one of the members. She actually just left. Um, so, um, that's, that's part of the perk. You can throw in an idea and, uh, sometimes I'll just invite more people in. Any more questions? questions? Yes. Um, I heard like you recommended access, but not really for proposals because it would take a tremendous amount of time. What is, um, another proposal builder that you would recommend that doesn't take as much time as access? I'm uh, familiar with access, I'm just looking for a quicker way. A, qu a quicker way it depends on what it is that you're selling if you are selling if you're selling like all-inclusive packages i go to vax i use the sales uh, email i don't know if you know it but you you click on the sales add to email takes me five minutes to send a proposal probably even less and that's about it if you are in you're, you're investing in something that you don't know that you're going to sell it. And sometimes they'll want other things. I don't invest a lot of time in the actual proposal. I will write it briefly, explain it more. I rather talk to them out on the phone and explain versus just typing everything for something that they might not want. Um, so VAX for a lot of the all-inclusives, um, sometimes Europe, uh, Hawaii, uh, if you're looking for something else like Europe, maybe uh, Europe Express and some of these companies, they do send some nice itineraries. Um, as I said, they are a little expensive. Yes, there's Travel Joys, there's Travel Fi, all of these companies that they do, but you still need to plug it in. You still need to enter the flight information, the hotel information, and maybe the tours. And, you know, it's again, your call and how much time you have. I don't invest that much time in the proposal 
the written proposal. Um, I like to send something and then let's discuss it over the phone. And again, this is probably a, another session of sales, but I, I send it out with not a lot of information on it. And just let's, once you get it and you're ready, let's go over this together and I'll explain most of the things. It's just if I found out that if you give them like a lot of information, either you scare them or you give them enough information and we're all set, but you just gave us everything. Now we'll just go and book it somewhere. Or, you know, I sent it to my wife. She really liked it. So we went on and booked it. Yeah. So um, I sent it out. It's also a good time to just, I just sent it. Let me know when you have some time. Let's go over this and we can uh, close the sale and, you know, once uh, once we're done with the call, take credit card once you're on that call and just go from there. I don't believe in a really, really long sales process. Uh, so I hope I answer that. Any any other questions? Yeah, um, can you go back over what you said about booking the air through the tour operator and using the airline credit card? Um, let's take uh, the United as an example. That's probably my number one because I'm in the New York, New York area. When you use a United credit card, the client gets a free check bag. They get priority boarding when they go on the plane. That's the perk of using that credit card. Sometimes it's one piece of luggage, sometimes it's two. The, it's not enough that they have the card. They need to use that credit card to pay for the flight. When you are doing a reduced deposit, when you're doing just 250 a person deposit, you are technically paying the supplier. The supplier takes the money. They pay for the air with their own credit card or whatever they do. And then later they just take the rest of the money. In order for the client to technically pay directly and, and pay for the air, you need to let them know and they'll need to pay. So the merchant, when the client pays, will say United and not fund or travel. Uh, so that's, that, that's the key. Sometimes it will work, but if you want to make it like clear, it, that's you, you need to tell the tour operator, they'll need to charge the air in full using that credit card and, and, and that's it and go from there. You, you, they can't triple dip, right? You can't, they can't get this and this and this, just have to explain it to them. And, and, and again, setting expectations. If, if a luggage is not that important right now, or maybe they have silver or gold status, they don't need that credit card perk because they have it somewhere else. Hmm. Roy, is that the same if we had we held our own group air? Because you know through TPI, um, we can get you know get group air and sell to a group and they make payments on their own. Uh, if you do same? group air directly with the airline and you pay for it, normally you will put again if you, if you pay. Depending on how you do it, let's say you would end up ticketing it with their credit card, then you're good. If mm -hmm. you're doing deposits with wire transfer, it really depends on the type of group you are doing. But mm -hmm. in general, if you provide the airline the credit card, they use the credit card to pay for the air for the ticket and it's entirely, then they will qualify. So that the transaction needs to happen one time. Like they, you know, for the, the client, like I need to pay the. Yes, and normally with groups, if you do group air, even if you pay the $100 deposit, the normally after you issue the tickets, they will refund the $100. So mm -hmm. in general, you'll take the credit card and they'll charge the air ticket in full. And that will mm -hmm. qualify and trigger the perk. Mm -hmm. Understood, thank you. Uh, I actually, can we, can we actually, just stay there just a little bit longer. Um, Cause I'm just trying to understand um, when I book, for example, if I'm booking through um, Funjet, for example, and uh, well, actually when you use that United, that United um, example, would I have to actually book the flight separately from the resort using the United example? 
with their United card. I'm just not understanding that whole process. No, but again, if the client is in the, the only way to trigger that specific perk, if they need that perk, the only way to trigger is to use that credit card to pay for the air in its entirety. So if you're not taking a bulk price, if you see the deposit is really high and it's pretty much air and maybe a hundred dollars of the hotel, you're good. If, um, if it's just a two, if you pay it in full, you're, you're good. If you book it in advance six months out and it's $200 deposit per person, it, it won't trigger the perk. Okay. So you don't need to book it separately, but you need to call the company and tell them they'll know exactly because it's not, it's not new to them. So you're going to tell them my client is holding the credit card of that specific airline. They, they need the free luggage for them and eight people in the reservations because it's going to save them a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I will need you to use that credit card to pay for the air. And they should know exactly what we're talking about. If they don't get a supervisor, but they should know exactly what you're looking for. And that's using, in this example, that's using United Vacations, for example. It doesn't matter who you're using. As long oh, okay. as the air is paid by the credit card and it's entirely, then that will trigger the perk. Specifically, again, for the airline branded credit card. Okay, thank okay. you. Uh, go away for Africa. I don't book too much Africa. I have a few agents that book quite a bit with go away and they like them a lot. Um, like really, really like them. So I guess they're good. <laughs> I don't book a lot of Africa and I don't use a lot of go away in general, but I've heard that they're pretty good. I not speaking from personal experience. Okay. Um, Okay, I assume that's it for now. Nope, I got no. one more question. One more question, go for it. Because <laughs> you were talking about your cruises. Um, do you use like TPI's group space to sell? You know, what Oof. they call it? Back, yes. What's it called? What's the yes. word with the S? Um, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. We've, we, we've booked about 600 of these group prices for 2022. It's been crazy. If you are part of a consortia, if you're part of a host that is holding group space, oh my God, use it. I just, I, I wanted to show an example today on another session that I didn't get a chance, but I was pricing something for October on Symphony of the Seas with Royal mm -hmm. Family of Four versus they they would pay 4400 if you get two rooms they would pay 4100 because the group price is so low they get they get they buy one they get one free it's two rooms for the price of one the prices are so so low they're unbeatable and and you know what honestly they're not that unique because everyone has it ensemble has them Expedia, a lot of these uh, vacations to go, all of these suppliers out there, except for the cruise line. So if you go and book directly with the cruise line, I don't know what you're thinking. You're probably paying the most, but anywhere else, these prices exist. So utilize it, promote it, put landing pages, email blasts. These rates are amazing. Amazing. I, I don't even, I don't, I have no idea how they're not recalling the space thousands of dollars cheaper um, amazing it is it is amazing yeah. obviously. especially with royal and celebrity but you know norwegian has their own program it's different but royal celebrity oof, yeah we've that's you know that's how we pretty much reached about a million dollars in sales with the uh, royal caribbean it's just it's just crazy okay anything no. Okay. So again, I will uh, send out an email to everyone that attended. Thank you so much. If you are considering, um, I do these sessions quite a bit. I only allow, you know, from time to time, some people that have never attended. If you're interested in the program, I will send some information and uh, good luck. Really, really good luck. It's Again, as I said at the beginning, you are here, so you invested time in your business. And I know some of you, I know, because I've seen you on uh, top producers retreat and uh, and things. So I know that you uh, 
you're, you, you are top producers and you can uh, reach even further. So thank you for attending and thank have you. a great weekend, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. This is very beneficial. Bye. I'm, I'm glad you found it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.